Okay guys, so with us doing different um, method of turning in assignments from now on, I want to just do a quick video saying, hey, here's how it works. Um, hopefully this will answer any questions you have and yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Oh. And that's the wrong direction. Okay, so this is what you guys should have if you don't have it. You can print it off of Unified Classroom and Class Pages, or um, I will always have the weekly cover sheets available in the front office. I'll have them, um, uh, the new one for each week there every Monday, and then um, they'll be there all week long. So if you didn't get it last, or if you forget to grab it this week, you can grab week one next week, but you should be grabbing them every day or every Monday, Tuesday, anytime during the week. One of these per week. You don't have to come into the school and get it if you don't want to. You can print it from online from, again, Unified Classroom. I just have it if you need to, if you don't have a printer. I know I don't have a printer at home, so I have to pick it up or use the school. So um, with these, what you'll do is first thing you need to do is once after you printed it you put your name okay your hour and then right here is where your score is going to go I don't know my score yet so if you notice here's Tuesday's assignment dividing exponential expressions part one those were my notes those are posted on Unified Classroom under notes um, as I watched the video, I should have been filling out my uh, exponential expressions notes. That should be what we had before spring break. These are the last two sections. Did I fill out my notes? Yes, I did. Okay, then if you notice, I should have this done by Thursday. So I, this book assignment right here, I need to have it done by Thursday. I don't know about you guys, if I don't have a deadline, I put it off until the very last minute and it just gets a mess. So I'm giving you guys deadlines hopefully to help you um, stay on task and not put everything out off till the very end. I know um, sometimes it's hard to get it done in the required days. If that's the case, just let me know. Okay, or take in consideration, just be honest with this. Okay, so there are 10 problems and let's say I did those 10 problems. And if you notice, they're all odd, um, and they're from the book. I'm going to try to do all the assignments from the book. That way you don't have to print off worksheets or anything like that. So I do those 10 problems. Then I go to the back of my textbook where all the odd answers are, and I'm going to check it. Okay? And I go through it, and I check it, and I got 10 out of 10. So I got 100%. So looking at my rubric, I completed this on time, so I completed it by the 9th. I didn't skip any problems, and I showed all the work that was necessary. Sometimes there's a lot of work that needs to be shown, sometimes there's just a very little bit. So then my score right here is 20. Okay? If you notice, I give you work days in between each assignment so that you do have time to work on these. Okay? So then I come, I get online on Thursday. I fill out my dividing exponential expressions part two. I fill out my notes. Okay, and then I have these seven problems. So let's say I do those seven problems. I get the back of my book. I check it, but I only, I miss one. I get six out of seven. So then what I'm going to do for my score is I'm going to go six divided by seven. So I got an 80, and if you notice, 80. 0.857. I'm going to write that to 86. So that's an 86%. Okay. So complete on time, no skip problems, all necessary work shown. 20 points. Let's say all necessary work is shown, but it's not completed on time. So I'm going to get 18 points if I didn't complete it on time. All necessary work is shown, assignment has been corrected and has a score of 60% or lower. I just really struggled with this one, I'd put 14 points. All necessary work is shown, assignment has been corrected and has a score of 40% or lower, and so forth. Okay? So use this as your rubric. So let's say um, I didn't complete this on time, so I am not, I'm going to put an 18 here. Okay? 
which is fine. Honestly, um, this has just kind of given me an idea. I want to know if you're completing them on time, if I'm giving you enough time. Um, maybe that helps me understand where you guys are at. Um, if you complete on time but your scores are lower than these, please do the 14, the 10, or the 5. That also gives me an idea if you're understanding the concept or not. Okay, So then I would add this 20 plus 18 is 38. I'd put 38 right here. Okay, Then I would just show my parents or guardian or whoever, say, hey, look, this is this filled out. Here's my assignments. I'd show them my assignments. And they'd go, awesome, great job. And they would sign. Hmm. Okay. So then after they sign, I would take my phone. I would take a picture of this. Okay. So I would take just a picture of this, making sure that I had my total score and my parent signature visible. Then I would send that to the teacher, me, Miss Jacobson. So the email again is J A C O B S O N N at Madison School District 321.com. Okay, you should be sending this to me every Tuesday. Okay, so you get a new cover sheet on Monday, you send this to me on Tuesday um, of the following week. Okay, so this is the week 6th through the 10th this week. It's not due until next week on Tuesday. Um, if you have any questions on the cover sheets, please let me know so that I can make this as easy for you as possible. Um, with the notes, you don't need to send anything but this page. At the very end, I'm going to ask you to show me that you have all of your notes, and that will be part of your final grade. So hang on to those. If you lose them, print out a new copy and re re refill them out. If you need a printout of the notes, again, just email me, let me know. I'll drop them off to the office and you can pick them up Monday through Friday, 9 to 11. Okay, well I hope you guys are having a great day, a great week, and I will post a new video for you guys on Monday. So, bye!